So the moral of the story is I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with my room because I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been gone for a while, but I've been moving back to college. It's been a crazy trip coming over from London back to the States. Definitely was a tough move. And the hardest part about this move is when I got kicked out of campus last March, I left a whole bunch of stuff behind that Stanford packed for me. They were super gracious about it. I didn't have to pay for it to be stored or anything and for it to be delivered. Like they did a really great job, all things considered. But what that means is I now have a whole bunch of books that I haven't seen in a year and a half and I get to organize them. So welcome to this chaotic bookshelf organization vlog. It's also me reacquainting myself with books that I don't remember buying. So. I think the way that this is gonna go is I have a big bookshelf here and then I have a smaller one here. I got some plants today, so I'm really excited to like kind of like decorate my shelves as well. But yeah, I'm going to sort through my books and then hopefully decide which ones go where and hopefully have some nice bookshelves by the end of this. But I have no guarantees. I just know that I'm feeling chaotic and this needs to get done because classes start tomorrow and I just don't have enough time. All right, so I finished making piles and I don't know if any of it actually makes sense because it's all kind of been destroyed. What I have is on this chair, I have fantasy. Then here I have philosophy and nonfiction. Then this general area is like contemporary. This is my ugly classics. This is my like collector's edition classics. I have a whole bunch of those. And then lastly, I have like poetry and plays. So, oh, and then on the shelf, what I have left is well, my water bottle, because hydrate or dihydrate, my friends. Uh, this Venetian mask that I got when I was a kid and an old disposable camera that has had film in it since 2017. I don't know if I can still get it developed, but I'd like to, because there's like photos from high school in here. I think it'd be funny. Um, all of my bookmarks. I need to find like a nice place to hold them, even though none of these are particularly cute. It'll be fine. Um, this like little guy that holds books open. He's like a little portable book stand, which is really handy when you're reading paperbacks because my hands get tired. I'm the worst. A cute little speaker. And yeah, that's kind of what's still on my shelf there. And then on this shelf, um, water bottle, candles. I'm not allowed to have those. Don't tell anyone. I mean, I don't light them. I just use them for decoration. I have this tarot deck that's really pretty. It's like botanical drawings. Then I have a tarot companion. I have this like art deco tarot deck. Ooh, I have this art deco tarot deck as well. Oh my God, I'm like the worst camera woman, but that's what I have. Um, that's what's still on my shelves, but I think basically the big task for right now is to start just getting books on shelves. And oh, I totally forgot. There's a huge pile on my floor of stuff that I'm definitely gonna want on haul. So I'll talk about those later. But I think for now, I wanna get like my nice classics up on like these top shelves so I can display them and then kind of go from there. So I think I've gotten everything on the shelves. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it the way that it is now because a lot of these books like I collected like, and I'm not sure if I really wanna keep them because just for full transparency, not only do I have this whole collection of books, I probably have like 30 to 40 books with my brother, 30 to 40 at my boyfriend's house, and then like another maybe like 50 to 60 at my boyfriend's parents' house. So, the collection is quite expansive and most of these books are books that I read either, you know, a year and a half ago and didn't like enough to take with me when I left campus or are like classics that I'm collecting because they're special editions. So I don't know. It's, it's kind of strange. I'll see how I feel about it. I might unhaul way more than I'm planning to, even though I already have like a stack of, I'd say like 15 books that I'm getting rid of. But Enough of that, let me give you the little tour. All right, so we'll start with this one. Up top, we have my two new plant buddies. 
Then we have this, which is a picture book of Paris. I went to high school in Paris and I got this as an 18th birthday present from a friend. And I really love it. It's gorgeous. And then it's just like a nice coffee table book, my swell bottle. And then this, I actually have to throw away. So without that, that's kind of what the top looks like for now. It's quite empty, but I like it like that. Then here I have my like adult sci-fi fantasy horror. I had a Stephen King phase where I really loved his stuff. So I got The Stand, Pet Cemetery. what's this? Uh, Pet Cemetery, Full Dark No Stars, and The Shining. And I was like absolutely obsessed, but like I literally no longer relate. So I'm like, do I really get rid of it? I don't know, I'm keeping it for now. Then I have the Lord of the Rings books. And then I have City of Brass, Game of Thrones, Imaginary Friend, Ninth House. And then over here, I have my YA fantasy. So I have The Wizard of Earthsea, first Harry Potter book, and then Illuminate. I haven't actually read this yet, but I'm looking to. This is like one of the only books that I knew I'd left at school where I was like, huh, maybe I wanna read that. Um, and then I have the like original hardcover of the eighth book of The Wheel of Time. I'm trying to collect these all for my boyfriend. He's totally obsessed and he wants the full collection in hardcover. So I've been like scouring through thrift stores trying to find them for him. So this is the first one that we found, um, but looking to grow the collection. Then I have my tarot set over there. Down there I have the full set of books that I'm going to unhaul. Uh, probably in like a week or two after I've lived with this situation for a little bit more, I'll decide what else I want to unhaul and then I'll do like a full dedicated video to that. Then down there I have like contemporary fiction. I tried to organize it by rainbow, but on call it's like on camera, you can't even tell. It's kind of lame, but I tried really hard. I really did. I thought it was gonna look so cool. It does not, but you know, most of the contemporary fiction that I read, I didn't bring or like contemporary slash literary fiction, but a lot of this I might also still unhaul. I'm just like so uncertain about so much of it. Um, all right, then moving on to the big bookshelf. Here's the like top down. Cute. <laughs> um, so up top I have my leather bound editions. This isn't technically leather bound, but I needed to fill it up. Brothers Grimm, this is my divine comedy. I got these in France, so it's the original Italian and then modern French, and they're just like absolutely gorgeous gilded copies. They're like one of my most prized possessions. Uh, Harvard Classics, Deluxe Editions, uh, Bacon, Milton Brown, and Homer. Then Pride and Prejudice, Phantom of the Opera, Sherlock Holmes, Twain, Moby Dick, and then I have these like flexi bound covers. Like they're like floppy and like look like leather, but I'm pretty sure they're just plastic. And I'm not the biggest fan of them. I bought them at the university bookstore because I was like, oh, they're so cool. And now that I look at them on the shelf, I'm like, I see this, which is very clearly like a modern replica of a classic book. And I'm like, you know what? It's like fine because vibes, like same with this, where I'm like, there's still vibes. Like this is just neon green. Like I don't understand why I thought it was so alluring. But alas, I have Dubliners and The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in these weird flexi bound editions. I really might get rid of those two because I'm just like not the biggest fan. Then on the next shelf, I have this special edition of Little Women. I don't like this book, so I'm probably gonna get rid of this. It's also so fragile because it's like a little laser cut paper dust jacket and I'm just always so scared of ruining it, but I don't even like the book and I wanna display it and it's just like such a thing. Then I have these Mina Lima like interactive versions of The Little Mermaid and the Secret Garden. This is like other Hans Christian Andersen tales as well, but I absolutely love these. They're like pop-up books, they're so fun. And then here I have my cloth bound editions. These are like actual vintage books. So I have like the Arthurian legends of Faulkner and then Virgil and Ovid in the original Latin. Not that I speak Latin, but I have that anyway, Sense and Sensibility, and these three are all like the same Oxford Cloth Found Editions and then two Penguin Classics. I have a whole bunch more of these, but I took them with me. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that shelf. And then down here, I have like half of my Russian literature collection. The rest of it I took because I was taking a class. But yeah, so I have War and Peace, Pushkin, Oblomov, Karenina, Crime and Punishment, Gogol, and then like smattering of other things and then here I have my poetry and plays kind of stacked up with Shakespeare's sonnet on the top and then my Venetian mask. Uh, going down here I didn't organize this at all this is just like the rest of my classics when I was organizing in my head I was thinking of these as my ugly classics which is like a bummer but I think that I should probably organize these by color uh, maybe I would be able to get the rainbow effect, but we'll see. Yeah, I kind of just have a whole bunch of stuff. Most of this I read for school. If not, I like got it at the thrift store for like 50 cents and I was like, how cute, I'm gonna look so educated. I'm the worst, it's fine. Um, and then moving down, I have my nonfiction and philosophy. So these are the philosophy books and then here I have nonfiction. 
and then I like just snuck some trinkets there because like next to my shoe rack, like who cares? So yeah, that was my bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed looking into my open closet. How fun of me to leave that open for you. But thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad that I like was a little bit productive, but I kind of gave up halfway because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna like make them so cute and organize them exactly the way that I want. And now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, get rid of it all. Like, I don't know, I've had to be a little bit more minimalist because I was moving around a lot during the pandemic. So like, I wasn't holding on to a lot of stuff. And now I see this and I'm like, the kind of sentimental value that I thought that it was imbued with, like really genuinely isn't there. It's just that I got used to seeing it every day. And so I was like, this is important to me. Um, or like I spent money on it, but if I resell it, then I think I could, you know, I could bear the licking of my wounds on that one. So I think this setup is probably going to change a lot, especially as I like continue to read and like get new things. Cause I do like, as I said, I want to collect all of the wheel of time books. Like that's something that I think is important to me right now. Maybe I'll try and do like a rainbow thing. Maybe I'll like disregard the whole like genre separation thing that I did and just like go like all in on the rainbow, who knows? Cause I'm not like super in love with the way that it looks, but that's also cause the rest of my room is pretty empty and echoey. So sorry about the audio, but maybe once I like get more stuff and like lean into a theme more cause I'm gonna decorate the walls. I'll see how I feel. Cause I might want to do like a dark academia vibe in here. Not sure. Yeah, so the moral of the story is I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with my room because I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. So that's kind of it. I am going to stop rambling now. Capitalism is a ruse, get rid of stuff. Nothing means anything, but books are cool. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure hanging out with you. I had a chaotic time, I hope you did too. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe, it really helps the channel out. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.